Hey everyone, Mike Scan here, senior pastor of Epic Life Church here in Terrell, Texas, and bringing you another Three Minute Thursday where we take three minutes or less and look at subjects and topics of the Bible. Today I want to answer the question, did Jesus only give us two commandments to follow? But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe to our page. If you haven't done so already, click that bell icon so that you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about the content of our video. And if you have an idea of a Three Minute Thursday topic, Man, write it down in there so that I can uh, begin to study it and bring it to you guys as well. So, it, did Jesus only give us two commandments? Absolutely not. Let's look at what it says. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 22, verse 34, this is where the idea of only two commandments came from. And uh, Jesus said, uh, the, the, the Matthew 22, verse 34 says, But the Pharisees, when they heard that Yeshua had silenced the Sadducees, gathered together in one place, and testing him, uh, one of them, a lawyer, asked, Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the Torah? And he said to them, You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The entire Torah and the prophets hang on these commandments. What people misunderstand is they think that Jesus is saying that's the only commandment. But really what he's doing is answering a question that was presented to him. And the question was, which of the commandments were the greatest commandments? And he brings out the two, that you should love God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your might, and that you should love your neighbor as yourself. Well, first and foremost, answer the question, where did Jesus get those commandments? Well, number one came out of Deuteronomy chapter six, which is called the Shema. The Shema means to hear with the intent to obey. And it starts out with, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Then he quotes another passage where he says that you're to love your neighbor as you love yourself. This wasn't a new commandment. It was just one of the greatest commandments. Where did he get that? Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18, where he commands us under the law that we are to love our neighbors as we love ourselves, I hope you'll study that, look it up for yourself. So the question then is why those two? Because if you take the 10 commandments, those two commandments will balance out those uh, 10. And what I mean by that is the first four commandments that deal with God, the Sabbath, uh, no idols, no images, um, uh, taking the late name of the Lord in vain. Those four commandments fall, all, all of those fall in loving God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength, right? If you love God with all of you're not gonna do those four, well then, are you gonna obey those four? The other ones, the rest, the other six, deal with your neighbor, loving and honoring your parents, not coveting, not killing or murdering, right? Not lying, uh, not committing sexual adultery, not, uh, or anything like that. So what's the deal? The deal is that Jesus is showing us that if you walk in love, the commandments of God hinge on those things. He was not telling us that they were the only commandments. He was giving us an example of what the, pow the power of Torah. And the power of Torah is all about love. If you will learn to love God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength, and if you'll love your neighbor as yourself, that, that doesn't fulfill the, it, it, the commandments hang on those two things. In other words, the Ten Commandments that he gave us hang off of those two commandments. So I hope this answers the question that Jesus did not give us just two commandments. He told us which were the greatest commandments. I love you. God bless you, man. Open your Bible, read it, and see what comes to life. God bless you. Shalom. Until next time.